Good morning, we are doing sourdough pancakes this morning. The recipe for the sourdough pancakes will be two cups of the starter. If you want to be technical with it instead of just pouring it in like I'm doing, it would be 400 grams of the active starter, meaning if it is freshly fed. If you're doing a discard or your starter has been sitting for a little while, you would use 500 grams of the starter. I usually measure in grams when I do my sourdough, but when I do my pancakes and waffles, I don't. I feed it the night before, and then um, whatever I have in the jar, that's what gets poured into my bowl. So the next thing that I put in, that was two tablespoons of uh, sweetener of choice. We use Sucanit, that anything that has to do with sugar, that is the sweetener that we use. Then it is a pinch of salt. I don't always put the salt, but the salt that we use is the Redmond's real salt. That's the salt that we tend to use in our house. And then it is a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Uh, I didn't use vanilla extract. I used half a teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. I really like to use that and you only need half because it is stronger than vanilla extract. Then it will be two eggs. Uh, these were room temperature chicken eggs. If you have access to duck eggs or you like to use duck eggs, they work really, really good with these pancakes and make them really fluffy. And then a teaspoon of baking soda. I do the baking soda very last because as soon as it comes in contact with the sourdough starter, it reacts and foams up and gets it all fluffed up. Once you mix it and you start getting that reaction, then pour it into or on whatever it is you're using for your pancakes. I'm using my cast iron skillet here. The skillet is really great. When I first got it, it was gifted to me. And when I first got it, I wasn't really sure if I liked it because it's oval shape. But I use it all the time and it stays on top of um, the stove top 24-7 just because it, it's just it's always getting used. Um, so there are different variations you can do to this. The recipe I just gave you is the foundation for um, sourdough pancakes or even the sourdough waffles. Sometimes I will mix in some, um, I'll put, let's see, what all do I put in it? Sometimes I'll put apple pieces if we have apples, fresh apples. Sometimes I'll put applesauce. Sometimes I will put cinnamon. Um, and to on this one, Leland wanted vanilla, Wyatt wanted chocolate chip. So I did half and half of both. <laughs> I didn't mix the chocolate chips in it. I just put the chocolate chips on top because I, I had Leland wanting vanilla. Uh, here is when I'm mixing my starter. Uh, I'm feeding it again after I used it. So when you use your starter, if you just leave like a teaspoon, two teaspoons in there, um, and then give it some fresh flour, fresh water, you get it recharged and get it going again. So um, that's what I'm doing here. Whenever I use my starter and mix my starter up, knowing that I'm gonna make pancakes or waffles, I do like to mix it the night before so it can be freshly fed, which means it's gonna be really active. It's gonna rise in the jar. And uh, I do, instead of doing half flour and half water exactly, I do use a little less water so it's a little thicker. I have noticed that with the pancakes, if the starter is, is thicker, that it helps it be fluffier. So if I do the half water and half flour exactly, I tend to get pretty flat pancakes. Um, so my kids, they like them fluffy. They, they love to eat pancakes, but they are picky about how they're pancakes look and so they want it to be fluffy and so I do make a thicker starter if you make a thicker starter it also helps with not having to feed it quite as often so I will put enough water in there to where all of the flour is wet but um, so there's no dry pockets but it's not real runny so anyways little flash there of me doing some laundry it's a very busy day we have karate and running errands and so I'm doing was doing laundry whenever they were eating now we're doing some homeschool and trying to get that done so we can run out the door but anyways thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video